Stocks tend to exhibit a pattern of gaining around the turn of the month due to several factors. Mainly, like many investors will receive their paychecks at the end of the month and may allocate a portion of these funds to investments, their pension contributions. And this influx of capital into the market can contribute to upward pressure on stock prices. Some investment strategies, such as those employed by mutual funds and institutional investors, involve buying or rebalancing portfolios at the beginning of each month. Now, these large scale purchases can influence overall market trends and contribute to stock price increases around the turn of the month. It's the so-called turn of the month effect. Some analysts suggest that the timing of dividend payments and option expiry dates can also influence stock price movements around the turn of the month. Now, the FTSE 100 has had a particularly strong run of the end of the month effect over the last three years. You can see that the first day of the month has had a 75% winning trade percentage with an average return of 0.57% and some pretty big gains, uh, you know, when you consider this is just one day's price uh, movement in the FTSE 100, average return 0.57%, the maximum loss 0.90%. And, you know, just looking at this turn of the month effect, and if we look at the first day of April, um, we can see that over the last three years, it's had a 66.67% winning trade percentage and if we extend that out to maybe 15 years see it's actually an 80 percent winning trade percentage with this first day of april particularly a strong month for the FTSE 100. the major trade risk of course is that previous seasonal trends don't necessarily repeat themselves again each year and uh, it is also a uk bank holiday in the uk so you may see this seasonal pattern bumped to the following day. The major trade risk here, of course, is that previous seasonal trends don't necessarily repeat themselves again each year. Remember, don't just trade it, season exit.